Here's a typical equation that you may run into in engineering mechanics. As you can see, there are three unknowns here. Fs, probably some force at point S, Fa and Fb. Whenever you have these system of equations, you must first check that the number of unknowns match the number of equations. We have three unknowns, three equations, so they match and therefore we can apply this AX equal to B matrix equation to solve this system. Okay, so how do you f make this into AX equal to B? First what you have to do is identify all these terms that do not have the, the, the unknown variables. So here's 5, it doesn't have FA, FS, or FB, so that should move, be moved to the other side. And there's another one, negative 3.536, that doesn't have any variables, so that must move to the other side. Now, you let's first change that into 0 0.866 FS equal to, by adding number 5 each side, you get equal to 5. This one you don't have anything to move so we're just going to copy it down here. In the third line that's the one that we have to move so just copy it and when you move the sign changes to plus and that's good now. Okay, Once you make it into this format you're going to use AX equal to B where this A, matrix A, is the matrix of coefficients. When you see this first equation, you should really think of this as 0 times FA plus 0 times F of B. And write down 0, 0, 0 0.866. That's because this is the coefficient for FA, this is the coefficient for FB, this is the coefficient for FS. Now if you were to switch these to around, let's say FS comes first, then these coefficient also has to switch around so they correspond. Here this is 1 times FA, so the coefficient is 1, that's negative 1 times FB, so the coefficient is negative 1, this is negative 0 0.5 fs, that's what you have. The third line is 0 0.7071, 2.121, and then 0. And on the right side you have the numbers 5, 0, 3.536. Okay, in the other video I explained that once you put it into this ax equal to b format, the solution is simply a inverse B. In other words, FA, FB, FS is equal to the inverse of this big matrix 0, 0, 0 0.866, 1, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.7071, 2 0 0.1210, inverse times 5, 0, 3.536. And once you're done, you can use a calculator to find, calculate this to find the solution. Now this model here I'm showing you is TI-83, so depending on your calculator, the way you solve it will be maybe slightly different. Okay, how do you solve it with TI-83? First you're going to press second matrix that gives you this screen where you have names of matrices from A through something and then as you move on there's this edit screen you're going to go to the edit screen and then you're going to pick the very first matrix and press enter. Now A has three rows and three columns so it's a three by three matrix so I'm going to put three by three and then that gives you adequate room for putting these numbers in. The numbers are 0, 0, 0.866, so 0, 0, 0.866. And on the next line it's 1, negative 1, oops, 
1, enter, negative 1, enter, negative 0.5, enter. And the third line is 0 0.7071, enter, 2.121, enter, and that's it. So we have our very first matrix, matrix A, ready. Let's go back to the screen by pressing second matrix. Again, go to the edit. Now we're going to plug in the, punch in the numbers for the matrix B. So go to B, enter. That's three rows and one column. So you put three by one. Then you have these three places to put numbers in there. It's five, zero, 3.536 enter okay so if you go back by pressing second matrix as you can see you have matrix A and B ready okay so what do we do in the normal screen we are going to calculate A inverse B again go to second matrix and press enter at the names pressing enter at the names will give you matrix A. And then the matrix A inverse is simply pressing this X inverse button. If you do that, then you'll see negative one sign appearing right next to A. And then we're going to multiply B by it. So second matrix, go to matrix B, press enter, and that is the matrix that I want this calculator to calculate it. This is A inverse B. So let's hit enter and you see these three numbers. These are the values of F, A, F, B, F, S. So let's write down the answer. F, A equals to 3.415, F, B, 0.5285, F, S equal to 577. That's all.